What is good guys, back with ulti finals between Ojama and Zuchtres, that's how you say it in German. And we will look at the teams, the Scarf on Ojama's side is either the Kartana or the Lele. For now I will assume that it's Scarf, Katana and then probably Z-Move or Specs Lele. Z-Move makes a lot of sense unless the Z-Move is on the Greninja. Then probably Spadef, Rocks, Ferrothorn, Default, Glisco to support the Zard. Glisco also might have Ice Fang since he looks a bit weak to Zygarde. Zard is most likely X just because he doesn't have Pursuit support and also... Glisco isn't the most reliable default guy, I feel, so that X makes more sense. On the other side, um, Z-Move is either on the Manaphy or on the Sand Rush Drill. Mega Tita, which could be uh, 4 attacks, 3 attacks rocks or Dragon Dance. Like, it kind of depends. It could be um, Spikes on Pharaoh and then rocks on either the Land or the Drill. Then the Tita could be 4 attacks or Dragon Dance. But um, if it's just Spikes, Pharaoh and Scarf Lando and SD3 attacks or like two FD2 attacks Spindrill, then Rocks could also be on the T-Tar. Um, yeah, if the Manaphy is the Z-Move user, then the Drill could be a Balloon or Leftovers variant. If the Drill is the Z-User, then the Manaphy is probably Leftovers. So turn one, uh, Ojama leads up with Lele versus T-Tar. This is actually really scary, especially if it's Fightsy Lele. He doesn't have good switch-ins. All his um, pivots for it kind of get destroyed. Um, drill, Pharaoh, Tita all get destroyed by Fight Z. If it's that set or potential Specs Focus Blast. Um, but Ojama, if he doesn't have Focus Blast, then he's probably just gonna throw off a Moon Blast. We're either gonna see Moon Blast, Focus Blast, or Fight Z here for Ojama. One of the three. And um, I don't know if Zuchtres is gonna pivot into Pharaoh or Landris. He pivots into Landris, anticipating Focus Blast or Fight Z. Let it throw out a Moon Blast. And uh, I would assume that it's Scarf Landris, though, if that's Scarf Landris. Uh, the team looks a bit weak to uh, Zygarde, so it definitely has to be Ice Beam on Manaphy, like Ice Punch or Ice Beam on Titar, and maybe HP Ice on Excadrill as well if the Landris is offensive, because otherwise uh, Zygarde is a huge problem. Uh, I assume we're just going to see a U-turn out from what is most likely Scarf Landris. If Lele is faster, then we will see um, that it's probably Scarf Lele, but I'm still thinking it's Z-Move at that point. This damage is obviously not Specs. I'm going to run a Kalk on the si at the side. Um, type of Lele Moonblast versus Landris Choice Scarf. Um, if the Landris is max HP, Moonblast does 49 to 58. If the Landris has no bulk, Moonblast would have done 58 to 69. So yeah, this Landris definitely has some bulk. I assume it's just bulky Scarf and he's going to U-turn out into um, probably either the Excadrill or the Pharaoh Thorn. If Ojama um, predicts that with HP Fire or Focus Blast, that would be pretty cool for him. Um, but I assume he's just gonna click Moonblast again. Like, I don't know his entire set on the Lele. It's obviously Moonblast, either Psyshock or Psychic. And then, I don't know the last two moves. It could be like... HP Fire or Focus Blast. And then the last move could be Command or Taunt. Or it could also be four attacks. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna see a U-turn out here. And yeah, what, what is the Tita gonna be? I feel like the Tita is gonna be Ice Punch, Fire Punch... Either Crunch or Pursuit, and then either Rocks or Edge in the last slot. Uh, I know Padlop sometimes helped Zuchtres build um, this ulti, and he likes 4 attacks Tita, so I'm thinking it's that sad. So a yeah, U-turn into what is most likely Ferrothorn or Excadrill. And now we will see if Ojama predicted that with HP Fire or Focus Blast, but I assume he just went for Moon Blast again. Or maybe, maybe also for a potential Psy Shock or Psychic, I guess. So we'll pivot into Ferrothorn. He just Moonblast again, yeah. And now, even if he's Fight Z Lele, I don't think it would kill from this range, uh, assuming that's Spadef Ferrothorn. I think Fight Z would do like 85, maybe. As a, that's a head count, I don't know exactly. But um, yeah, we could see a switch into Kartana here. We could see a switch into Zard. Switch into Kartana really doesn't accomplish that much if you're a drama. Because uh, Zapdos should be able to deal with the Kartana, especially if it's Scarf. The only the Kartana that can break Zapdos is um, plus 2 Z-Move. Either Breakneck Blitz or plus 2 Z-Move um, after Rocks. Like Grassium can also do a lot. Um, depending on the Zapdos spread. I assume the Zapdos is going to have speed to outspeed Zygarde. So it's not going to be the most bulky Zap. Because like I said, if that's Scarf Landris... Okay, Taunt's predicting rocks, which is really risky. And Zuchtres just Jarrows and kills the Lele. So he just plays it safe. Um, Jarrowbell should have... Would have probably done like... Maybe 25 to 30 to the Zart. That's another head calc. Maybe like 25 to the card. And it obviously would have killed the Lele. And in case the Lele had fight Z, I get the play from Zuchtres completely. 
And yeah, Ojama just wanted to prevent rocks because rocks um, are hard for him to keep off. Uh, if Glisco is the defogger, which I assume it is, so Zard comes out and Zucht is pretty much forced into Tita here, I think. Um, if it's Zard Y, then he also doesn't like he doesn't have a switch in at all if it's Zard Y. But if it's Zard X, Tita can definitely check it. Assuming it's um, bulk invested Tita with um, HP investment, some speed for to outspeed Mega Mawile, and then rest and attack. Uh, maybe even a bit more speed than Marvel, but I'm not sure what the next one is that you would creep. I think we just see um, maybe a Flabbit or Earthquake. Goes for Flabbit. Tita comes out, and now if this has Pursuit, I think he could go for it. And otherwise, he's probably just gonna throw the Edge. Um, but yeah, Ojama is gonna switch into either Kartana, Ferrothon, or Glisco here, I feel like. So um, if you wanna predict that and go for Ice Punch or Fire Punch, that would also be cool, but he just edges, okay. I could have also gone for Rocks there if they had them. But yeah, if he has rocks. So now, um, if I'm a Jama here, I would probably go into Greninja. Because that scouts for Fire Punch. Um, yeah, I think Greninja is always the play here if you're a Jama. Because you don't know the entire moveset from the Tita. And Fire Punch is kind of common on Mega Tita. Um, like, even though he doesn't know if it's DD or 4 attacks or rock 3 attacks. Like, Fire Punch is definitely an option that he has to scout for. But he just stays in insects. Ferrothorn, not anticipating the Tita to have Fire Punch. Maybe he thought it was uh, Stone Edge, Ice Punch, uh, Rocks and Crunch or something like that. Or DD and Crunch. I don't, or DD and Edge. He already showed Edge, right? My bad. But yeah, um, Greninja comes out, he breaks the Ferrothorn and goes for Dark Pulse. Now that Tita is Mega, it can also check this out a bit better. Uh, Ojama is going to switch out here into Kartana or Zard. And uh, we could probably see a hazard from from Zucht go back up. Wait, did he already get up rocks? He didn't yet. Ojama taunted him earlier, right? And he gyroballed. I thought he already got rocks up. So he goes Zard. And um, he's either going to go Landris or he's going to go back to Titar. And um, so what is a Zard? It's either Roost 3 attacks or DD. Um, Roost, Flabbit, Earthquake, goes for Dragonlance. Flabbit should definitely kill the Landrus after the Dragonlance because uh, Landrus should only have HP investment. Maybe a bit of defense, uh, but the Tough Claws boost the Flabbit. Should be able to kill the Lando here. And I think that's the play for Ojama. And Azuch's probably just gonna have to sack the Lando. And then afterwards, he can go into his Titar and either fire over Edge, or if he has Pursuit, he can also go for Pursuit. Like, Edge is the safe play. I feel like Ojama is going to switch into either Card or Gliscor. Um, he might just... He might just want to go Gliscor because he already revealed that he has Fire Punch, so he doesn't want to risk the card. Uh, yeah, he's either going to stay in an Earthquake or he's going to go Gliscor as he pursues predicting that. Yeah, so good play on Zucht there. Um, knowing that Ojama is going to try to go Gliscor, anticipating the Edge. And now Zucht is probably going to switch into... The Manaphy here, do we see a Defog from Ojama or do we see an Earthquake? We see a Defog and the Manaphy can now um, throw out... We see the Manaphy item, right? Yeah, it's leftovers. Okay, so we could see um, a Scald or Ice Beam here. Maybe maybe he's Surf instead of instead of Scald. But I think we just see Ice Beam here. Ojama really doesn't have a good switch in for that. Uh, well, I guess Ninja can potentially switch into this and live... A water move or ice beam quite well but the thing is yeah how does Ojama win this game this is like tough Th that wasn't the best matchup for Ojama he also got unlucky taunting like I get that he tried to keep rocks off with the little taunting the, the Pharaoh and yeah he thought that Zucht just would go for hazards there like Zucht's play wasn't necessarily wrong and I completely like agree with Jarrah in there I guess cuz um I don't know why I said I guess. Like, Jarabolling makes a lot of sense for Zucht because what if the Lele goes for Fight C there? He kind of had to Jarabol earlier. So now he goes for the flinch. Um, Manaphy stays in, which means Zucht wanted to stay in either to scout for what the Greninja locks itself into, or he um, has Energy Ball, but I don't think Energy Ball is common at all on Manaphy. So now he can switch it onto. Uh, it goes Ferrothorn. Um, is Tita not healthy enough? Because he was locked into Dark Pulse. No, no, the reason why he didn't go Tita is because um, Tita can still check the Zara. That's why he went Ferrothorn. So now uh, Ojama's either gonna go into his Kartana or Zard here. 
Um, I didn't even talk about the Manaphy bopping the <laughs> bopping the Gliscor with Ice Beam. I don't think I talked about that yet. But yeah, Zook's gonna go Zap here. Um, Ojama's gonna probably just knock off. Or if he has Defog on Katana, he can go for it. Um, but I think he's just gonna knock off to get rid of the Zap, those Leftovers or Helmet. See, it's Pressure. Uh, good to see someone actually use Pressure. Usually people just spam Static and mindlessly go for Para. Now Zap dies to Rocks as he's probably just gonna Roost. Gets the Zap back to full. Now... Greninja comes out and Zuch doesn't want to risk dying to like a Hydro Pump crit and he wants to keep Zapdos because he can deal with the Kartana so there's no reason for him to stay in. So he goes Manaphy on Pump. Now he's going to keep it around and probably just go Ferrothorn on what is most likely the next pump or does Ojama double back into card? No, he just pumps again. And now the Kartana is going to come out here. So we most likely just see um, a Gyro Ball. Yeah, we see a Gyro Ball. I'm not sure if he has Power Whip as well. Could have also went for Power Whip. And now um, he doubles into Greninja, breaking the Zapdos, Zuch just goes for Protect, um, which um, Ojama didn't anticipate the Protect, now he Protects again to get more health. And now we could see a switch here into the um, Tita, as he predicts that by doubling into Kartana. <laughs> And now uh, Zuch just goes Zapdos here, Ojama doubles back into Greninja, anticipating the Zapdos. So you guys can see Ojama is trying his best at this point to somehow come back into the game. Um, but I don't think it's possible, um, he just sacks the Manaphy to see what Greninja locks into. Greninja gets Battle Bond, but now he's free to go into Excadrill, because he knows already from the damage that the Greninja is Specs. Excadrill outspeeds it in the sand, but Sandrush and Earthquake pretty much just kills something. Also, Greninja now cannot lock into a move that beats Zuchja's entire team. If he locks into Water Shuriken, then the Feral Thumb walls it. If he doesn't lock into Water Shuriken, then he would just die to Earthquake from the Excadrill. So, Zuch takes game 1. Uh, the Ferrothorn is now going to be able to just click Gyro Ball. Um, yeah, Ojama decided to look into Shuriken to kill the Excadrill, but obviously that cannot break path through... F that cannot break path Ferro. I think that also would have lifted. Yeah, that was also quite healthy. So, uh, Zucht up 1-0. Kind of surprised by this. Uh, in my opinion, Ojama was the favorite to win the tour, but we will see um, if Ojama can bring it back in Game 2 and potential Game 3. But yeah, it was fast game, fun to watch. I think you guys... For watching, stay tuned for the next game. Smash the like button if you enjoyed and peace out friends.